You don't need to be able to hold a handstand to work on your handstand press. I couldn't do a handstand when I started training my press. Here are my top three tips to get your handstand press. Number one, perform negative presses every time you attempt a handstand. This dramatically increases your time spent upside down, increases your overall control, and strengthens your shoulders and hip flexors. If you're a beginner, your negative handstand press might only last one second and it might look like this. And that is okay, we are building the control. If you are upper body dominant, you might bend your elbows and that's fine. That just means you're gonna start working towards your bent arm handstand presser. Number two, incorporate supplemental press exercises daily. This means conditioning similar movement patterns within your regular training. Take a look at the handstand press and find ways to mimic a similar position. You're going to need to focus on shoulder and hip mobility, straight arm pushing strength, and of course, handstands. Number three, focus on the area you're lacking. If you're flexible, but you can't control your flexibility, it's time to focus on strengthening drills, not more stretching. If you have a limited range of motion in your shoulders or in your hips, focus on mobility and flexibility drills. The more you practice, the more mobile and strong you'll get. Need more help? Comment below asking for a part two of this series in which I will film a handstand press workout for beginner to advance. For everything you need to know about calisthenics, visit summerfunfitness.com. And if you're here on YouTube right now, why not go ahead and do my human flag workout to get closer to your calisthenics goals? Thank you.